Holy crap, guys. We did it. Oh, yeah. Guys. On guard, the live target. Alright guys, I decided to say screw it. Screw it. You know what I mean? I didn't come all the way this way and get wet for no reason. We're going for gold. See, now it's not looking good again. Should have wore pants. Should have wore a helmet. Is everything there we go oh my gosh all right I think we got a path oh lost my hat got my hat rain's coming down the odds are stacked up against us ladies and gentlemen is that a path up there tell me that's the path Oh Holy crap guys, we did it, we made it, it's pouring down rain. Guys, it doesn't look good, it's gray all around me. invite you to come in here anytime. Oh no, don't tell me that this is where it ends. This was it guys, this is where I wanted to be. And there's uh, like nowhere to fish. I don't even know how I'm supposed to cast this thing. Oh boy. Thank God we got the extra tufts on. Damn it, there's like nowhere to go. I need waders, all this for nothing. Well guys, got all the way out here. Got all the way out here just to find out that I need waders. It's the only way to get out there, and I don't even know how deep it is and if that'll be okay, but man, this is a lot of trekking for no reason. <laughs> but hey, that's what you got to do. You got to find out, you know what I mean? This has been killing me ever since I came out here the first time and got lucky, and uh, I've wanted to come back out here ever since, so I did. And um, I've got a long trek back. Look at that. Guys, this is brutal. It's funny, though. Every time I turn my camera off I bust my ass <laughs> oh, this doesn't this doesn't look like the right way either like what the what the frick ah, ah, yes get off me get off me we're rolling now we're rolling now Please be the right way. Oh, hat. It's still there. Holy smokes. Okay. And I think I took a new, I think I took a new trail on the way back because I got stuck a couple times and lost. Actually, I'm not halfway there. I'm there. <laughs> Woo! Oh my gosh. My biggest worry right now is I hate bugs. That was totally worth it. I had a blast. Yep. Alright, let's see if these idiots 
we'll hit this lure. All right, I'm gonna throw this decrepit, terrible looking live target at them. Monster B. I heard that thing coming a mile away. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Guys. We got a decent snook here. Look at that. Guys, look at that. Oh. Yeah, baby. Nice little guy. The live target got him good. <laughs> Check him out. Not a big guy at all, but still fun, especially for this little canal. You guys saw how hard we worked and we got him. I want to get him in the water as fast as I can, but just want you guys to be able to appreciate the beauty. Sweet. All right, let's get him released. Gotta love these fish, man. That thing came out and destroyed it. Go ahead, bud. All right. See you later. Go back to your home. I'll catch you again in a year, and hopefully you'll be bigger. Oh, man, I've never been so excited about a 20-something inch. Barely. Went all the way back in that channel for no reason. Didn't have to. Ooh, that's what I'm talking about, baby. Didn't give up, even though I wanted to leave. Got him on the decrepit live target. Look at that thing. That thing is, it's like a dead target or like almost dead target. Got 30 pound mono on 20 pound braid. And I'm using a seven foot uh, medium fast action with a 3000 Daiwa BG. I feel so accomplished. <laughs> I know it's almost embarrassing to say, but we grinded, man. We grinded. We went through the jungle, through the Amazon, came back, gave the spot a break. And lo and behold, like what? 10, 15 casts later, he just came out of nowhere and crushed it. I know they're in there. I know there's more tarpon in there. There's a hole right there. I mean, I threw, how many, you saw me throw like four or five lures in there and uh, and they just weren't having it. So I must have drove this by him just right for him to hit and that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, baby, yes. On God's the live target. To tell you the truth, I'd like to just leave this spot alone. You know what I mean? That might be the biggest fish in that hole and I just traumatized him. So we'll have to come back out here and get some revenge and do another episode and try to get those tarpons. Thank you so much for watching and sticking around through this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you've got any stuff that you want me to try, if you've got any fish that you want me to try to catch, please let me know. I appreciate your guys' comments and I really do appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos. So don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you on the next episode of Topwater Trev. Thanks a lot, guys. Boop.